Okay, y'all, so. Oh, my goodness. I am. Oh, wait. I, that was that son was. Please excuse my child. My daughter stepped on my glasses and broke them. Mind y'all, this is the last pair that I had that was not broken. But it's okay. Um, I was driving, so I really be needing my glasses when I drive. But this is going to be well. I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I'm assuming this is going to be short because I didn't even get out the car yet, and I came to the gym. Um, instead of working out at home, I came to the gym because I had a little bit of. T I have a little bit of time before my clients come today. Um, so basically, I have a late start. But um, I'm just going to get right to it. Oh God. Um. I've been really, 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 um, you know, like I've been around, but not really seen, not really saying much, not really, you know, just, I just been around, like, you know, I'm near, but like, I ain't really been showing my face places. I ain't really been. And that's just the, um, <clears throat> the posture that I have been in with God. And it is basically where he want me to be. And, um, lately I just been thinking about like, he just been not thinking, thinking, but just like stuff that been coming to me, like about business and, and like, about like how it's so important when we trust God to be obedient. And this is more so, um, for people that's, that's doing something like that's in business. That's like, you know, entrepreneur and things of that nature. It's like, when you really, really trust God, you got to put everything. I mean, everything that you have from your insides into trust in the Lord. Um, and I'm going to try not to get emotional, y'all. But to be perfectly honest, I'm holding it in because I was just on top of all of the things that God has been bringing to me, dropping in my spirit. I, I, I listened to... Uh, I um. I, I listen to and I sign up and I take all of these um business courses for free. Y'all, it's so much free, 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 99 um, information we can get out there. I know that the popular thing is charging people to do X, Y, and Z for, X, you know, for, and that's fine and dandy and great, but not me. You know why I'm like that? I think because I get free information. So I I know if I get free information, it's somebody else out there that's doing the same old thing. So with that being said, I, um, this one um, virtual course that I signed up for, um, and I, I don't even know how I found it because I haven't really been on like my um my Instagram. I don't I don't even know what. Oh, I don't. I think I scroll posting something, and I seen that it's that it said um the course, but it didn't say free until I got on the website. That's another thing. She didn't say it was free until I clicked on the website. How away it was meant for me. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. So. I already been feeling and hearing in my spirit certain things. So I get on this um on this virtual conference call, right? And she's basically talking about I'm I'm basic I'm going. It said um God God pays me. That's basically the the thing or whatever. So I don't know if you guys heard of it or not, but it's called God pays me. So it's a couple um young ladies um that talks about how talk about their experience and them being obedient and everything. But I'm telling y'all, it wasn't 10 minutes in where I can feel, I can feel God's presence on me so heavy. Mind you, I'm driving and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like I'd end to be honest when I'm in that, like feeling, you know, feeling the Holy Spirit that deep. I'd be like, all right, I, I don't know what to do. Like, you know, I'm sorry. I'm praising them and all that. So I said, well, Lord, you know, it's, it's. I like to share, but I know that everything ain't for everybody, especially in certain time. It's a it's a time and a place. That's just it. So, but I do believe that it's okay for me to share this with you guys in this moment because I'm not going to get all deep, but it's a testimony brewing and brewing in my life and my spirit, and I cannot wait. Oh my god, I cannot wait to. Sh to share it with y'all like i feel like i'm getting emotional but it's like this is real like i cannot wait to share it with y'all because to god be the glory and 
even in this moment um in my life right now where where god has me in a space where you know slowing me down a little bit it's like I know that something big is brewing, meaning in the spirit, like I ain't doing nothing, you know, but I mean like in the spirit, but I, I just feel like, um, when we are, it's a difference in, um, it's a difference in like, okay, let me get my words together. Cause I'm, I'm too excited. Okay. Not meaning a difference. It's 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 levels. I like to say it's levels. You know, especially being um Christians and believe and believers of Christ. It's not it's not just religion. You know, I talked about this before. It kind of I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It kind of cringes my skin when people try to say stuff about religion because if you really know man made religion, God did not make that. But anyway, um. When you are in relationship with God, it's, 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 it's so deep to the point where you just got to know that you know that you know, regardless of what. And if you marry, you know, even if your spouse can't see it, that's okay. You can't ridicule them because they don't see it and you do or God showed you something and they don't, you know, that's fine. You can't be like, oh, you know, pushing things on them either. Like, because I would, I would be the first to tell y'all, like things has been happening that I'll share with my husband and you know he I love him so much because he's he's always been the same like he's not he's he he with whatever like if I give him a word or something he'd be like, he like all right you know all right we going with it whatever but things has been happening supernaturally lately and I feel like I'm like I'm thinking to myself like yo I hope he like I hope he with it and and if God reveals it he already know the outcome he know my husband is going to be with it so with that being said I'm just letting you know I'm just letting y'all know just stick with God like like stick with him throughout any situation stick with him and especially right now in what the world is going through financially you know they talking about a um i came with a recession they talking about all types of stuff like that but but when you know god and you have relationship with god god said he always will provide even in the midst of a famine so if whatever goes on god is going to provide when you trust and you believe him right but he always he's always going to find a ram in a bush however way like however way and like i said i um I just wanted to share that little bit with y'all because I feel like um, this is the platform that God has given me. Sometimes I struggle, you know, sometimes I struggle with um, um, even picking the camera up. Like, it's like. I do like I'm just being honest sometimes I struggle with picking the camera up like okay do I want to share it or I don't feel like it or right now and God be like no it's okay right now share it right now especially if I can if I can help someone and that's what I created this platform for you know even though I show you know me doing hair and you know is you know um whatever it is in my life I whatever I post or whatever I put out to the world I know that it could be there forever so I want to make sure that it's something encouraging even if it's one person y'all and that's the thing it's like it's 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 stuff is happening right now and it's hard to watch to be honest especially when you know that like even to be honest even some of us christians is like doing anything it's like come on like you when you really have a relationship with god you know that you know certain stuff you shouldn't you you shouldn't be a part of but who am i i'm not i'm just saying that i see it i ain't saying nothing because it's not my business like it's not my business to be like oh well why are you doing that you know or whatever you get what i'm saying that's that's not right I'm not here to condemn nobody, but I'm just saying like, that's why we got to be really, really careful, especially in this season, because God is doing some stuff, y'all. Y'all know it's harvest season, and I'm not talking about winter, spring, fall. I ain't talking about with the with the man-made harvest season. I'm talking about in the spirit. It's harvest season. God, right now is our time to harvest thing so you know we could see the the um the fruits of our labor like so it listen i i'm getting too excited again so they calm down <laughs> calm down plus i don't have that much time because i gotta go to the i gotta i got like i could do like 45 minutes i could do like 45 minutes in the gym 
and still make it to my my first client on time but anyway um yeah i'm just excited but i just wanted to share with y'all and like i said i was so emotional before i got on here i'm like get yourself together because i wanted to be a crying fest because i really wanted to get out um at least what i what was you know the message that i'm trying to trying to convey with y'all um and basically is all things business in jesus <laughs> like period do not take jesus out of your plans do not take the lord out of your plans let god guide you in everything that you do and i'm gonna tell you another thing everything i know the we you know i know like the, the world paints this picture like you need money to do this you need but god is a provider if he provides for the birds and the you know all the all the animals or whatever they eat you think he's not going to provide for his his people like the people that he made to on this earth to for a purpose like i i i, I i'm not going to believe just anything like you can't just tell me anything so i just feel like and and with that being said though too the reason why i say that is trust them and all that because sometimes things ain't what, what it look like 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 sometimes an example sometimes you might get a shut off no, notice and you like well lord well, what happened and the whole time he like chill out i got you like you know what i mean but then you panicking you all anxious and all that type of stuff like i like even god takes extra um you know, extra, um, I can't even think of the word, extra measures for certain things. But I think that it depends on the person sometimes. I think it depends on the situation. Because I feel like this is how I be thinking. Like, he really just want to see, like, you going to trust me? All right, this ain't going the way that you thought, but you still going to trust me? And, and really what it's doing is, it's just building us up. It's making us stronger and stronger. Because remember, God do not want weak people in the kingdom of god like he don't he want us to be bold bold i told y'all on my last youtube that i was reading x and i'm still in the beginning i think i'm on x6 and but in x five or six peter peter and um oh gosh peter and holy spirit help me peter and the other apostles basically was doing the work of God and they kept trying to lock them up. And then it says in the scripture, I, I don't remember exactly what it like where the scripture was, but I remember at the end, Peter was basically saying like, glory be to God, because if y'all really, cru like y'all really, like I'm getting crucified, not like, like how they crucified Jesus, but like they really trying to punish him for the word of God. He know he doing something right. So I, I took that in a sense of if all things is against me, all things is definitely going to work out for the good of me. Like if if the world is against me, oh, I know God going to come up and he going to help me. Like I already know. So I just I just want to share that with you guys. And I hope everything that I'm saying makes sense because I do realize that I'm very excited. <laughs> um. I do realize that I am very excited, but I just, I didn't want to go into the gym and not, and wait till later to share this with y'all. And then, you know, I, I just wanted to share it and at least, you know, um, try to encourage someone somewhere, whatever, who, who just, who just, you know, like, oh, I've been praying. I've been this and I've been that. Just know God hears you when you, when he hears you, if he told you something and you following that by obedience and now he quiet, he's still hearing you. He working, he working it all out. He working it out for your good. I don't so. think I, I said this earlier. When you are in business and entrepreneurship, let's just say that when you are an entrepreneur and you are in, um, whatever stage you in make god the ceo of your company you have to make him the ceo of everything all the decisions all of the you know anything that you're doing because i don't know when i was working out i couldn't help but kept thinking like yo if i didn't have god with me on this journey i i i would 
would be stressed out <laughs> like i'm just gonna be honest with y'all and i don't know if you guys have known even though this is my husband's you know this is his business but i'm going to share a little bit of that we are now a, a um household of entrepreneurs my husband as well is an entrepreneur um um after leaving um his career that he was at for 19 years and kudos to him because it was that was i i i've been in I've been an entrepreneur since I was 23 years old. That's well over 10 years. So I know what it's like to like, all right, take that leap of faith. But for him to really take that leap of, leap of faith, I know it. Him and I both know it was nothing but God. You know that he could be on that journey. You know that he can even take that journey into entrepreneurship. So with that being said, I couldn't help but I, I don't know. I just kept thinking about that when I was working out, like, Yo, I couldn't imagine. Like, we would be stressed out if we wasn't putting God first. If we wasn't putting in our faith and, like, just faith. faith. Remember, y'all, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, if that makes sense, if you can really, really dissect each word, Hebrews 11 and 1, it should make sense to you. And I feel like... um if it doesn't find and dandy, maybe you need to go a little bit more deeper. But I feel like that was that's that scripture is elementary. Like that's just how I feel. So again, I just wanted to share that with you all. So peace out. Be sure to stay connected, you guys, on these social media platforms. See you guys next time.